Hey, 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 welcome everybody. Thank you for joining my broadcast. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, why is it that you have all these graphics and don't have many problems, but others have trouble? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Um, looks like uh, Egg Drop is uh, on, the, on the fritz tonight, so um, I'm gonna miss, <laughs> I'm gonna miss a lot of comments, I think. Um, yeah, the intro I actually found from a, a, a blog site, and uh, they said free for use, so uh, that's what I do. I freely use it. <laughs> so um, the reason why others, I don't know why the reason why others uh, have issues, a lot of it has to do with your uh, with your internet, also the computer you're using, and uh, the software as well. So, um, you know, the, I, I'm using the OBS software. And it seems to work very good for me. Um, and some people try pushing it to the limits, I think, a little bit too much. And they don't realize that their computer is just not that strong as what they thought it was, right? So I have I have a, another computer that's newer than this computer that I use. And it still doesn't it doesn't do good, right? Oh, you're taping a computer screen. Um, no, this is uh, live streaming through software. Uh, I don't use a phone at all. Um... Only thing, only reason I use a phone is so I can read your comments. That's really all it is. Um, <laughs> because egg drop's broken tonight. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to reboot my egg drop computer. I think it might, might help. Uh, Deacon, thank you for joining. I'm hoping everything went well on your travel and uh, dropping off your uh, your daughter to uh, to college. All right, I'm going to reboot my other computer here, so we'll let, let that happen. All right, guys, so let's get in the intro, I guess. Um. I am Jason Wallace. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I didn't know you could stream. Uh, yes, that's exactly. OBS allows you to do that. Yes, it does. Um, yes, it does. And I broadcast on Busker, um, uh, Periscope, and uh, YouTube all at the same time. So um, let's see if we have anybody over on Busker. Actually, it looks like my Busker app is frozen. There we go. And eh, we don't have any viewers, which is fine. That's all right. So yeah, I am Jason Wallace, I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a prayer warrior, an intercessor, I'm a Bible reader, I'm a devoted husband and father. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm a saint. I can't do two things at once, so I had to type my password first. <laughs> um, I'm a devoted husband and father. I'm a, I'm, I'm a saint. I'm a chosen generation. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And I'm a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And so Jesus Did It family of broadcasters uh, is a group of people who, uh, who broadcasters are on Periscope, Busker, and, and YouTube who, um, who all uh, share the same thought. Uh, it's all cracked up. That is, I'm, I'm rebooting my computer just to see if maybe it will help. Um, but uh, most likely it's uh, just uh, stuck on silly and that's all it is. Welcome, Barbara C. On your first day on Periscope, we thank you for joining us. Um, hey, hey, Jordan, how are you doing, friend? All right, so um, we're letting this thing load up over here, and hopefully, um, <clears throat> thanks for all the invites, follows, and shares. All right, guys, so, and um, after the broadcast, if you don't want mind, go on over to JesusDidIt.org and take a look. There's a red, where the red arrow is, that's the affirmation sheet. That's a sheet that allows you to be able you can download that for free and print it out. And then you can go and put that on your um, um you know, put that print it out, put it in your Bible, and then you on your road, ten hours to go, dropped off the boy. Oh, the boy, that's right, heading to Texas. Yes, no problem. I thought it was your daughter, but I guess I was wrong. But uh, we'll pray for you and your family, absolutely. Uh, for safe travels on those wheels. Um so um all right. Yep. Well, oh, there's egg drop starting to work now. Let's see if it actually works. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, the red, the red, the red arrow. You download that. You print it out. Put it in your Bible, and you can read it. And it tells you who you are in Christ. Who Christ says you are in the Bible. So you really want to check that out. All right. Looks like egg drop is working. That reboot seemed to fix stuff. So let's get logged in completely, and I can be able to follow along in comments here and be able not to uh, be so confused with things. <laughs> All right, um, and while you're there, take a look at the rest of the broadcasters that are there. There's a great amount of broadcasters, and then uh, there is the um, 
the scripture thought of the day. And there's some Jesus Did It swag. So if you're interested in getting a shirt, a mug, whatever it may be, uh, take a look at that. You will be, uh, you will be, you know, you'll be, just take a look. And you'll see if you want money, go grab one. All right, guys, so let's read. Um, our Bible reading for tonight is Ruth chapter 3. And it looks like my, there we go. Ruth chapter 3. And this is Ruth and Boaz at the threshing floor. So here, let's get into this. Ruth and Boaz at the threshing floor. Uh, one day, Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, said to her, My daughter, I must find a home for you where, <clears throat> where, you will, where you'll be well provided for. Now Boaz, with, with whose women uh, you have worked, is a relative of ours. Tonight he will, be, he will be winnowing barley at the threshing floor. Uh, wash, put on perfume, and get dressed in your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor, uh, but don't let him know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, note the place where he, he is lying. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. I will do whatever you say, Ruth answered. So she went down to the threshing floor and did everything her mother-in-law told her to do. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking and was in good spirits, he went over to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Ruth approached quietly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. In the middle of the night, something startled the man. He turned, and there was a woman lying at his feet. Who are you? he asked. I am your servant Ruth, she said. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you have, since you are a guardian redeemer of our family. The Lord, the Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which, it, which you have showed earlier. You have not run any younger men, run any of the younger men. Uh, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. All the people of my town know that you are a woman with notable character, or with noble character. Although it is true that I am a guardian redeemer of your family, there is another who is more closely related than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to do his duty as your guardian redeemer, uh, good, let him redeem you. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Lie here until morning. So she lay at his feet until morning, uh, but got up before anyone could rec be recognized. And he said, No one must know that a woman came into the threshing floor. Came to the threshing floor. He also said, Bring me the shawl you were wearing and hold it out. When she did, he poured it into six measures, he poured in into he poured it into six measures of barley and placed a bundle on her. Then he went back to town. When Ruth came to her mother in law, Naomi asked, How did it go, my daughter? She told her everything Boaz had done for her, and added, He gave me these six measures of barley, saying don't go back to your mother-in-law's, um, to your mother-in-law, empty-handed. Then Naomi said, "Wait, my daughter, until you find out what happens. Uh, until you find out what happens, for the man will not rest until the matter is settled today." All right, that is the reading for today. Um, hopefully, everybody uh, is good here. I see people popping in and out, so hopefully, the broadcast is as well. And uh, looks like Mr. Kwan was in here. Looks like we had a couple other people come in. Guys, thanks for joining. Thanks for inviting. Thanks for uh, sharing and doing all that stuff. Uh, screenshots and and uh, Twitters and all this other stuff. Ooh, looks like we're getting we're getting close to the end of the month. Oh, you know what that means? We're getting close to the end of the third month. That means I got to get a new book pretty soon. <laughs> um, so guys, every day we read from the Our Daily Bread. The Our Daily Bread is a free publication. You might be able to get it at your church. Take a look and see. Um, or you can go to odb.org and you can get the download their app. Uh, their app is really good. Um, uh, or you can um, 
think you can request them to even send it to your house. <clears throat> and, uh, excuse me for a second. Uh, <laughs> I love you too, brother. Listen, this is what we're here for. We're here to do life together. Uh, God, God brings everybody together for a reason. And, um, you know, whatever it may be, you know, uh, I'm just here and being obedient and, uh, and being what he says, says I should be doing. So, uh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so, uh, Sunday, August 13th, which we missed that, <laughs> but some of you guys, it's still Sunday, so I'm still good. Um, so guys, uh, the, the, the title for today is from fear to faith. And it's written by Karen Wolf. Uh, the doctor's words landed in, in her heart with a thud. It was cancer. Her world stopped as she thought of her husband and children. They had prayed diligently, hoping for a different outcome. What would they do? With tears streaming down her face, she said softly, God, this is beyond our control. Please be our strength. What do we do when the prognosis is devastating? When our circumstances are beyond our control? Where do we turn when the outlook seems hopeless? The prophet Habakkuk uh, situation, the prophet Habakkuk's situation was out of control, out of his control, and the fear that he felt terrified him. The com the coming judgment would be catastrophic. Yet in the midst of, of the impeding chaos, Habakkuk made a choice to live by his faith and rejoice in God. <clears throat> he did not place his confidence and faith in circumstances, ability, or resources, but in the goodness and greatness of God. His trust in God compelled him to proclaim the Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. When we are faced with difficult circumstances, sickness, family crisis, financial trouble, we too have only to place our faith and trust in God. He is with us in everything we face. Amen. The prayer for today says, "Dear God," and I think some of you probably should should say this prayer. I know I know I know some people are going through some painful things right now. I think this might help. Uh, so let's pray along together, right? Dear God, I thank you that that uh, that I can always turn to you when I am faced with the difficulties of life. I can put my trust in you. Thank you. Thank you that you are my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. That's uh, from Psalm 46.1. And the footnote says, when faced with difficult circumstances, we can trust God to be our strength. Um, hey, listen, man, welcome. Welcome. We're all, we're all the family of Christ, man. Hey, Nigel, thanks for joining uh, today's reading was from Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. And the uh, key verse for today was Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 19. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. Ooh, I know, right? Thanks. <laughs> Thank that person who wrote this, because, you know, this is exactly what I needed to hear today, right? So I think it was exactly what a lot of us need to hear today. So, um... Uh, because, you know what, there's lots of stuff out of our control, and we can't handle it all. <sighs> Could you even imagine? Could you imagine all the stuff that goes on in the world? You know, and, and for and for you to try to be able to, uh, to, to take all that in and be able to suffer with it, man? No way. No way, no way, no way. That's too much. But I'm glad that we have a God who can listen to our requests. And who, uh, who is there. And, um... You know, we'll 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 uh, we'll answer our prayers, or or get, oh, I couldn't do it, right? Could you imagine being God? Could you imagine hearing everybody's everybody's um, everybody's prayer requests, and for some people, even their complaints, right? Some selfishness, even 
I couldn't even imagine for all the stuff that he has to listen to. And uh, but yeah, he's still there. He still still loves us. He still sent his son here to be to yeah. That's why he is so great. Absolutely, absolutely. Why why else would he come here in the form of a man, the man of Jesus? Why would he do that? He's gotta love us. You know what what else would it be? I, you know I'm I'm still like it drives drives me crazy to to know that people that that reject God, and they say there is no God. But yet, we have all of this wonderful stuff. All of this wonderful stuff here. All that he's given us. All that he's promised us. You know? And uh, so far, he hasn't uh, he hasn't let me down completely. You know what I mean? He hasn't let me down at all. And uh, and everything that, that, uh, that, that I, you know, I, you know we, got, we got to think of it too, all right? And some people, and, uh, and you know, we'll set, we'll set it straight. Here's what it is. <laughs> you know, our God is not like a genie, so we got to remember that. All we can do is bring our request to him. He may say yes. He may say no. Uh, he may say, put the brakes on, sit and chill for a little while, and uh, maybe we'll let that happen some down the road, because i got something else I need to take care of with you first, right? So there's some things, right, that we're suffering with, there may be something else that's going on that we need to be able to address. You know, if we're if we're if we're hurting real bad, it could be something wrong with our heart, right? It could be something prideful. It could be something you know, shame shameful even, right? And we we just got to um, we we got to find out what that problem is, that thing that's that that really gets us, that you know, that breaks our breaks our heart, which actually breaks God's heart, right? Thank you for the invites. Thank you for joining, uh, Raina. I do appreciate you. He said no, it's for the best if he said <laughs> he knows. That's right. He knows when we're just not ready, exactly. And um, and you know, sometimes stuff just happens and we and we have to let we have to uh, understand that. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, that he can't control or he doesn't want to, right? You know, think about it. If we if we if we ask if we got everything we asked for, we'd be spoiled brats. We'd be so spoiled. And, and, um, and, you know, your mother and father are not like that, right? They're not just going to give you everything you need, right? They got to work on it, right? You got to work, work for it. You know, you gotta, you gotta show that you're, that you're able to handle it. You're able to do that. So, um, so just think about that. You know, when you're, when you're praying about stuff and when you're, when you're doing things, you know, think about it. Speaking of praying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went on a little bit of a rant. I'm just, uh, just, uh, you know, I, I feel that uh, I shouldn't say a rant. I guess I'm just preaching. I guess, um, you know, it goes to uh, the sermon that uh, my pastor had said today, and um, I shared it out in our Facebook group. I believe I shared it on the Facebook. Group. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. No, oh, no, we're good. We're good. I'm, I'm up for a little while yet. Um, yeah. So there is, uh, we see life from the side of our, from, from our side of the tapestry. God sees life from the finish side. That's right, because he already knows what the answer is, right? He already knows what the end is. <laughs> what, you know, but there really is no end, right? But he knows where, what direction we're going. You know, he already knows the, the, what, what is complete and where, where we're going. And, uh, that's the greatest thing, you know? And uh, all we can do is just be obedient. And that goes that goes to the to what uh, if you guys didn't see a broadcast, I definitely recommend you go to at North Darien BC and take a look at that on on Periscope, um, and listen to the sermon today. Uh, really, um, really interesting look at um, at being obedient, and um, some things really resonated kind of well with me. I'm still uh, I'm still um, absorbing it uh the pastor really explained things really well today like just um so i'm going to be re-listening to it again tonight after that'll be my my in my sleep i'll be listening to the sermon again just because uh i want to make sure i understand it but no it's great to uh it, it's great to uh, be obedient and be listening to what he has to say about things because uh ultimately we yeah, we, we need him. We need him to be able to help us get through this because uh, without 
without him, all we're doing is just stumbling along, right? We're not we're not actually getting we're not actually getting stuff done. You know, we're not actually doing things that that is worthy enough, right, for for anything. And if we're if we're not doing something to help bring someone to know Jesus Christ, then it's really not like uh, it, it's it's really fruitless, right? And you know, we should be thinking about that all the time. You know, how am I witnessing to somebody? You know, I I um I, I think that we, we need to be able to help people and understand, right? We had a really good homily today too. You know, Jesus saves us in the storms of our lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's I, I love that. I love that one. I really do love that one. When they when they speak on um on the storms of our lives and how God's there. And yep. Yep. There you go. So I had to reset twice in order to get comment box up here. Yeah, I think Periscope's got some some junk going on. I don't know. They did an update yesterday, and uh, I'm not sure. I was following the guy. His name is uh, what's his name? Rent Renud Renud. I think for I forget what his name is. Hey Jameson, thank you. And um, they they uh, he was working on on some bugs and stuff and. I was like, yeah, this seems kind of buggy right now. And he's like, no, 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 you would not have this problem because uh, you're not running that version that I'm running. And I'm like, well, I got this problem. He's like, no way. <laughs> he's like, yep. He's like, uh oh. So um, it's kind of cool to be able to uh, to be able to interact with some of the the quality control inspectors for uh, for Periscope, you know, because um, you know it's just funny, you know, to be able to help them uh, find problems with the software. When it goes, uh oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, any prayer requests? Uh, anything going on tonight that we need prayers for? Please uh, throw them in the chat stream. If you um, if you want me to pray for you and it is um, something that you don't want to put in the chat stream, you legit brought Tupperware at a grass sale. There you go. Um, this is a Duck Dynasty cup, so it looks like Tupperware, but it's not. I'm supporting the Robinsons. I'm supporting the Robinsons. The gospel was Jesus walking on water, and uh, Peter walking on the water, but uh, but sinking when he distracted. Exactly, and I think that sometimes that's what happens to us. We're here and we're and we're walking. We're, we're walking along that, you know, we're reaching out and we're walking towards Christ. And then uh, sometimes, actually all the time, there's distractions. I thought you about buying your cups, but, you know, I know. Um, <clears throat> it's all good. I got plenty of cups. Um, the um, press for your wife and you, that's right. We're supposed to make, we're supposed to make some changes and I'm confused. There you go, Bill. And Diana, right? It changes. Um, well, let's see here. Prayers and prayers for my insecurities. Insecurities. Affecting the way you treat her and expectations on her. Yeah, we can talk about that. Um, Princess Diana, who is already in bed. Okay, that's good. So how are you and your family? My, Me and my family are okay. We are good. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I know, right? Right, Quentin? It's amazing what, uh, what stuff happens 
when you start getting with the right people, when you start right walking with the right right uh, crowd, things that um, but that's confusing. The Bible says that I'm the leader of the household, but also spiritual leader, etc. Right. So by a leader, they mean Rocky Top. Thanks for joining. Uh, Jesse, thanks for joining. Um, I really think you. Oh, I think you guys were coming on here. So. Um, as the Bible says you're supposed to be a leader of your household. So let's think about that. Um, but what I think maybe the understanding of that should be is that um, is that you're supposed to be setting the example of what of what uh, the follower of Christ is, right? So if we can. Um, uh, we try to be good people, right? We try. Um, you know, and by by leader, by 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 example, I guess is the best way of putting it. You know, because um, you know you're not going to rule your household with a, with an iron fist. Trust me, I know, because it doesn't work. <laughs> Experience here, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, we all love Desert Liz. She's awesome. All right, so let's get you guys in a prayer real quick, because I know that uh, Princess Diana is not feeling well. So, Lord, Heavenly Father, we uh, we oh, that's right, Sev. I gotta get you too, right? But I'm re in reality not a leader of anything here, and I don't want to do an iron fist, right? Exactly. So uh, let, let's let's do this. Um, uh, do you have um? Do you have access to uh, check and see? I don't know. Some churches have it. Do you have, do you, if you go to a church, check and see. Do you have an access to Right Now Media? Because uh, I got a suggestion for you. All right, so let's uh, let's get you in here. Yep. So, uh, Lord Heavenly Father, we lift up uh, uh, Bill and Diana tonight, Lord. Um, we we lift up Bill specifically because he's feeling some confusion. And some insecurities there, the way that uh, the way that he feels he's treating his wife, and, and things that he's expecting out of the relationship, and, and uh, things that are going on in his life. Uh, so, Lord, we just ask that you um, you give him direction, Lord, give him give him guidance in, in what and what how he uh, he's uh, supposed to be um, guiding his household in, into into being followers of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we just ask for guidance for whatever whatever it is that he needs a direction to. Lord, you know what it is. And let let him uh, let him be uh, let, let him be blessed with that with that information, Lord, so that way he can better better help uh, his family through through the situations in life. Lord, we also lift up Diana, who is still not feeling well. Lord, we, we command healing in her body. We we ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, uh, whatever sickness is bothering her, Lord, we just ask that this be be taken away and be uh, be cleaned up in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. All right, not a dictator of the household, exactly. 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 All right. Bless him humbly. Yep, prayer request. Absolutely, Lord, we lift him up. Lord, we uh, we lift up our friend um, uh, Sev today, Lord. We know that he has still got some suffering going on, some grieving. Lord, we, we ask that, uh, that, that that grieving time be... Uh, be uh, be just a time for him to understand and uh, be able to fill his mind with good thoughts of of of, uh, of the loss of his mother. Where we uh, we know that um, uh, that that eventually that 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 pain and suffering will turn into um, joy and 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 uh, great admiration for his mother um, for. Uh, because uh, because he he's going to be celebrating his mother, Lord, in in, in the upcoming months. We know this, and uh, Lord, we just ask that you give him some guidance towards that, Lord, and just uh, let let the grieving process be uh, be eased and give him some peace and comfort, and allow him to be able to get some rest and be able to know that uh, that his mother is in heaven with you, uh, waiting uh, for the day that uh, that uh, that you decide. That it is time for him to come home as well. So Lord, we ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name. Uh, give him peace and comfort. Amen. Absolutely, man. 
you know, uh, it, it's not an easy thing. We get it. We, we know, and that's why we're here. Uh, what about the Bible study for men and women you were looking into earlier? Uh, that's right. Yes. So, the Bible study that we were looking into is... I don't know if you have access to it. Check and see at your church. If you don't, um, I highly recommend it. Uh, let me pull it up on the screen. I'll show you what it looks like. There is one called... Oh, the one that I'm taking now, I think that's the one you're talking about. So this one's directed towards men. Um, for men. I know, I was... You know what? Maybe that's what we ought to do. It sounds like there's some people that really, really need it. Your mom is cancer-free. That's right. Is she cancer-free now, man? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, it's called the 33. Um, it's, um, it's from Authentic Man, Manhood. And, um, if you go to AuthenticManhood.com, uh, you can take a look at it. Um, there is, um, maybe we ought to do that. We ought to do this. We, we really ought to. Um, I want to get a group together of, of guys. Yeah, the authentic manhood. And uh, maybe we got, yeah, absolutely. She's in, absolutely. She got a new body now, man. You're in heaven. You get a new body. That's guaranteed. That's written. It's written in the Bible. It says these old broken bones that were, were, were uh, you know, that's it. We're going to get a new body. I'm all right with that. It's hard when I go to this mom. Yeah, and he was really close to her, too, so I get it. I get it. You know, when your mom is your mom and your friend and one of your best friends, you know, it, it is very tough, right? We get it. A glorified body. There you go. There it is. And, uh, yeah, I know I know that some of us, some of us could do with a new body, right? My prayer request for continued healing for anxiety. It's wearing you down. No problem. So for, yeah, you're super close. So for Kim, anxiety. All right, Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up our friend uh, Kim to you tonight, Lord. We know that she is suffering from anxiety, Lord. We just ask that uh, that that you uh, you help her through that, Lord, and let her let her be eased and comforted, or let let her mind be settled and and be uh, and be at rest. Um, in times of a feeling like there is uh, there is um, an emptiness or, or uh, uh, just uh, an uneasy feeling around certain situations, Lord, we ask that you uh, give her comfort and peace and, and, and just let, let her be able to be uh, be able to go through whatever situation it is that's causing the anxiety, Lord, let her work through that and let her give her a, give her a chance to be able to fix that herself, Lord. Uh, we ask this with your guidance, Lord. We ask this in your mighty, mighty Son's name. Amen. Yep. Cancel anxiety. Exactly. It's gone. Be gone. We don't want you here no more. Anxiety. Be gone. Yeah. He took that. He took all that anxiety with him up to the cross. So you got. You got to. You got. You got. You know. Definitely have an ease. That's right. Lavender. Yeah, I use um I use actually peace and calming is what I use, uh, Cynthia. Peace and calming. That's my uh that's my that's my oil of of uh of action for that. Um because we all suffer from a little bit, right right? Yeah, peace and calming is some stuff. I like that stuff. Um it's a little exp I don't know, that one's not too expensive. I think that one's like fifteen bucks for a little the jar. Um, hey weirdo, what's up there, Justin Smallwood? <laughs> um, I'll take that. I pray for her anxiety. Absolutely, it can be hard. Make sure you don't have low blood sugar. Yeah, I think it's an adrenal issue. Right? Peace and calming. Um, it is a young living oil. And um, you just I just take a little bit. Yeah, stress away is good too. The smells a little, little, little much for me. I, I like the I like the um, I don't know. Everybody everybody at work calls me the dirty hippie when I put that stuff on because it, it's you know it's it's uh it's patchouli right. 
you know, it's patchouli oil and mixed with some other stuff, and it, it's it does help. Like you put a little, you put a little bit right, and you put a little bit, you know, on the back of your ear, and and uh, you know, it's supposed to settle you. Um, it goes over the oils. Yep. 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 The oils are are amazing. Um, they've helped. I've seen it help a lot of different people. Right. Waiting to get my car paid off before I replenish. There you go. Yeah, I know a lady who's got like every single oil plus a couple, right? She's a distributor for the area. So she's like, you know, she's got like this whole big wall of oil. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, so like, it's just like anything, you know, when you got something going on, I call her up and go, what oil do I got to use for this? She's like, all right, just grab your thieves and do this and do that. And, you know, um, what is and 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 what is what is uh andam andam andoma? I must have missed that comment. Um, hey Evans, how are you doing? It's Gareth, Gareth, right? So guys, thanks for joining. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, definitely. I put it in the put it in the chat stream and we will um I'm a distributor too, yep. That's uh I've got a couple friends that distribute that. So it's like uh uh I got a couple people to go to. If one guy doesn't if one person doesn't have the oil, I can go to the next one. <clears throat> so when your adrenals overproduce various hormones. My wife had that. Wow, really? That's interesting. Does it make you tired? You sell it. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, does that uh, that make you tired and stuff? I've been been struggling with trying to find uh, exactly. Hey, Caleb, you said you were going on, weren't you? Um. Pigeons' life matter. Pigeons' life matter. Pigeons' life matter. Pigeons' life matters. Every life matters, friend. <laughs> It wears you out. Oh, really? Interesting. Amber, you have a new login and a new picture. But welcome and thank you. Um, and, you know, it's a small benign growth on the adrenal gland that causes the hormone to accelerate. Really? It messes up and yep, can exhaust a person. Really? That's interesting. Uh, yeah, whenever you're done. Okay. Squirrel lives matter. Dogs' lives matters. You know, whatever it is, cats' life matters. I think we all matter. So your other phone broke. Oh, you can't remember your password. I pray for you and your family, brothers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that uh, for praying for me. <laughs> Hey, listen, anything that is, is matters, man. Come on. If you're, uh, if it, if it is, uh, breathing air and whatever it is, everything matters in this world. It has nothing to do with, you know, any particular person or thing or, uh, being or not being, uh, above things, right? It's, it really is. It has to do with, uh, um, uh, you know, our God put us here to be, to be in, to look over this stuff and uh, I think we're not do I think we're we're all not doing so well I think that there is uh, lots of things that are going on in our world that have just uh, really made things difficult and um, sorry I'm going through some screens here and you know we 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 really do have to a lot of work to do we really do and, um, you know, yeah, he is the reason that everything, that all the other things are matters. And, uh, hello, Erica. Hello with a question mark. She's asking, asking me if it's hello or not, right? <laughs> Life matters. Exactly. Yeah, please Google it. You do your own research. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, they uh they there there is like a lot of different um 
you know, things that these doctors just don't have it right, you know. We ask God to heal us and lead us to lead us to cures. Ah, what do we, what we ask God to heal us? Yeah, we ask him. We ask him for that. We ask for the doctors to be the ones to uh, help us th to that. So, hello is a question. I know, right? Like, hello. Are you sure that you're asking the question hello? Or are you are you asking me is it okay to say hello? Or are you? <laughs> Um, have you not been feeling well? No, I've been fine. I've actually been feeling better. Uh, can God heal cancer? Oh, here we go, guys. Can God heal cancer? No, but in Jesus' mighty name, if we command it out of him, it can, you know, if it is the will of Jesus Christ to, uh, to that be, the, to, to the cancer to be shriveled up and gone, um, then, then that, then that's what it is, right? And so... You know, um, I'm still kind of new at this healing stuff, but you know what? Um, there is uh, there is lots of thoughts and lots of different things that people have said. Even things, that's right, eternal life is what really matters. There you go. Um, the uh, the doctors, um, you know, are, are, are there to help, right? And so they're, they're put there by God to be able to, uh, to help out and do his work. So the thing that we have to understand is that if you are, um, if you are sick and you have cancer, you really need to go get help, right? And th and that's what it is. And don't rely on 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 um, on just that alone. Go to people that can help you because God has put them there to help you. And um, and that's what it is. The first step. The doctors are what we got, but we're not always, but are not always on target. Exactly. So you still have to guide them towards what you want to do, right? So God does heal cancer, but it's up to the person to have faith in God. There you go. And we got to work through these problems. So there, there is some stuff that we have to understand, right? That if, uh, if we, um, if we don't treat our bodies right, and we don't, um, and we, we keep, you know, holding on to sin because a lot of times sin will cause some imbalances in your body right because you're always worried about something some something's always driving you there right something's always got you i got a hold on you and giving you you know something going on your heart feels like it's fluttering or whatever all the time you know it could be it could be because of you know you're holding on to something that you need to set free that you need to get rid of you need to pull that root out of whatever the issue is, right? Brother Bert, thank you for joining. And, um, and so if we, if we were to think about it, right, if I, if I, um, if I worry, and it's, you hear people say it too, and you're like, you don't even think about it, right? I worry myself to sick, right? Right. You worry so much, you make yourself sick and that's what happens, right? Uh, so how do you deal with unfaithfulness in your walk with God? Um, yeah, you, you, yeah, that's a good question. How do you deal with unfaithfulness in your walk with God? So that you're unfaithful, is that what you're saying? Um, Christian, you need to get it straight. They're uh, in their mind. We are commanded to heal the sick. Yep. All right, so, um, so how do you deal with yourself being unfaithful, unfaithful to God? Is, uh, is really, you're going to have to do a really hard look at yourself, right? You're gonna to have to go through it and, and work through that. And uh, so, how to deal with not worrying so much? Listen, you gotta give that stuff to God, man. That, that just goes back to this other other guy that asked this question: How do you deal with your walk with God? It's the same thing. You gotta give it. You give your you know give your walk to Him. You gotta to talk to Him. You gotta start talking to Him. You gotta start praying with Him. You gotta keep that open line of communication all the time. Something comes on your mind, talk it out. Talk to God about it. You know, let, let him know where you're at, because, you know, if you don't, it's just going to fester. It's going to get, good night, Liz. You have a very nice night. I hope you're healing well, and uh, take care of them kids. Teach them God's way. Um, yeah, you got to get in his presence. you got to read the Bible, right? And, and even if you don't understand it, right, even if you don't understand the words that you're reading, don't worry about it, right? Don't worry about it if you don't understand it. Just read it anyways. Because what will happen? I know, doing your best. Listen, we can only we, 
we're not God, so we, we can only, that's all we can do is do our best. You know, when we're, when we're working through these things and, and, you know, I don't have all the answers. Even if you don't answer, exactly. Uh, eventually, at some point, those words are going to start resonating with you, right? And so how do you fix that walk with God is, 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 uh, is really forcing yourself. I mean, it's hard to say, right? But you're forcing yourself to change, right? And you have to, and you have to understand that if you're walking away from God, there's probably some issue with inside of you that's causing that problem, right? Like you've got some pride going on or, or, um, or you've been hurt, right? And so, um, exactly. Purposely make him your, your temptation. You know, start walking with him. Do, do, you know, submerge yourself into the word. You know, uh, listen to worship music, wh whatever it may be. Something to help you uh, get your mind off of the things of the world that are causing you to walk away. You know, like me, um, uh, I purposely don't um, use the, for all that often my, uh, my, my, my Bible app on my phone. Um, and for the reason being is that if I start wanting to read the Bible, all right, and then I, I have it on my phone, what's the first thing you go to when you're not, you know, when you hit your phone? You know, you think, oh, I'll go read the Bible, and you're like, oh, look at there's this red dot there for Facebook. I'm going to go take a look at that. Oh, there's an email there. i got to go take a look at that. And by the time you get done with it, three hours later, um, you still have not read the Bible, and you're not even in there, right? Listen to it on YouTube when you sleep, yeah. That's definitely something to do. Um... And uh, that's definitely it. Sermons, worship music, that's exactly it. Submerge yourself into it. Get, get yourself into a point where, where, you're, where you're able to uh, um, really, you know what, listen to some of these guys on Periscope. But be careful, okay? Just, I want you to be careful because there are some people, um, you know, they're, they're, and, that, and that's why we started up to Jesus Did It Group is because we saw that there is a lot of people that are that are speaking of God and speaking of Jesus, but their their message is wrong and skewed in a different direction. And the only thing that they're interested in is whether you're putting money in their PayPal or not, and um, whether they're going to speak a word to you and, and things like that. Uh, there you go. Make a point, daily appointment. Listen. Uh, yeah. So just be careful about that. Definitely, definitely, um, you know, if someone's asking you for money um, while well, they say they're doing the Lord's work and uh, they don't have any physical need for that money, then why why would he be asking for it? Like like us broadcasters on the Jesus Did It group, we don't ask for money. I mean, yeah, I mean, I probably could say, oh, you could give me money for my for my internet connection. Yeah, so that way I'm always on here every night. Or oh, I need I need a new laptop so I can do the broadcasting. You know, you guys could give me money for that too. But you know what? At the end of the day, this is my sacrifice, right? This is my sacrifice to to be able to help, uh, to be able to to. Um, how do you get in the group? Listen, you're already in the group. If you follow along with 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 the Jesus Did It group, if you look for um, there's a Facebook group that we have. And um, you can find it. It's called uh, Jesus Did It Periscope Group. I think it's called. Just go to there and and uh, and um, select uh, that you uh, want to uh, to join the group. And uh, if uh, Rick is the approver for those, so Rick will uh, will approve you. I'm pretty sure he'll approve you right away. So, and um, you know we we have some good uplifting communication in there with everybody. Um, Yes, all the all the broadcasters from from our group are on the Jesus Did It website, um, JesusDidIt.org, absolutely. And um, and so to become a Jesus Did It broadcaster, the instru once you're inside the 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 the, the uh, Facebook group, there's instructions on how you can be, right? About how you can be. Um, and see, that's what we're doing too. We're not only on Periscope, right? We're on Busker. We're on YouTube. We're on a bunch of different places. Um, we're on Facebook uh, because we're trying to be the light with inside of social media. Listen, I get it. Facebook is just like a nightmare sometimes. and um, But uh, all social media has that potential. 
Um, and we just need to be able to uh, walk through all that. And so, you know, sometimes you're stepping in mud and, and we, we have to deal with that. And, um, and but the thing is, is, is if we are truly going by our greatest, our, our greatest commission, right? our commission, right? Our commission is that we, hey, cool kid, uh, Sam Buffington, how are you? Um, <laughs> I remembered. Um, you know, if, if we're if we're truly being the light of the world and we're truly being uh, following our um, our what our walk is, you know, we should be lead, we should be leading people to uh, to uh, to know who you, you got it. When are we chicken dinner? There you go. Um, you know, we we really need to be able to to follow the Great Commission, which, which is really this. It, it's you know you know go forth and create disciples of all nations. Well, I'll tell you what, all nations, there's a Facebook nation, there's a Periscope nation, there's a Busker nation, there's a Twitter nation, right? All these areas is where we should be walking. And, uh, you know, in our neighborhood, in, in, our, in, our, in our, wor our workplace, all that stuff. Um, Paul urges to walk worthy of the vocation we're with. Paul urges to walk worthy. Okay. So how often are you on here? I am on every night, unless I'm not feeling well, or if I pray about it and God says don't. So the other night, um, I was just exhausted. So, you know, that those are very, very, very far and few in between. I'm generally on every night, though. Um, the word vocation gives us insight into how calling God manifests. Another word is for vocation. Okay. That's good. Plus more, plus more. Literally, these programs broadcast globally. That's right. So, you know, we, we reach out to a lot of different people. And, you know, I just, I, I pray every time that I go on a broadcast that, that, um, um, I said, Yep. Oh, you. Yeah, we're on here every night. So, um, come on, and we'll have to see you soon. All right, I got you. Kind of figured that's what it was, but yeah, God bless you too. We, um, you know, and and that's and that's what it is. <clears throat> so, guys, if uh, you have any more prayer requests or anything like that, definitely. Um, Struck by loss is a very interesting name. Um. I think I know where this guy's going, but I just wanted to uh, look up the words. I tend to, uh, yeah, that's where I thought you were going. Huh. Yeah. As you we were saying, <laughs> the Bible app sent me Hebrews 7.25. That's interesting. Can you pray for my marriage, my husband Zane, please? Sure can. Let me write you down. What is a good Bible app? So, here's what it is. I really like the U version app. Um, the U version app is really good, and this is why I like like the U version app. It has really good. It's got its own built-in uh, social network inside of it. So, like, you can uh, can you read that? Yeah. Uh, give me one second. Uh, the U version app is good. Um, <coughs> that was a cough. That was not a sneeze. Sorry, guys. Um, if uh, you thought that, let me see, Coach. Where were we at, Coach Dale? I know you had asked or sent a verse. That's why I wanted to see what it was. Because there we go. Hebrews seven twenty five. Hebrews 7.25. One second, and then um, I had here Rebecca. Rebecca, I think you're doing great because some people don't go to, get to go to church. Rebecca and Zane. Marriage. Yes, absolutely. There we go. 
All right, and I'll come back to your thing there in a second. Thanks for coming back, Quentin. Thanks for joining, JR. All right, guys. So, Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up Rebecca and Zane to you tonight, Lord. Um, Lord, uh, Rebecca's asked for some guidance in her marriage, Lord. We know that uh, that you um, that you uh, really um, hold the sanctity of marriage to be something that is uh, some, something that is not to be broken. Um, Lord, once we bind together with with another human being as our as our uh, as our partner in life. Lord, we know that um, we know that, that when a man and a woman come together to be husband and wife, that it is and it is blessed by you, that um, that that it cannot be broken. And Lord, so we ask for guidance for her, uh, for you to give her some guidance and some direction in her marriage. Uh, Lord, let them work through the issues that they may be having. Lord, we ask that. Uh, that uh, that whenever they look into each other's eyes, they see the same love they saw on the very first day that they met. And Lord, the reason why they got married, let them realize that again, Lord. We ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name. Amen. Oh yeah, we, we ask for marriages to be lifted up because um, the enemy is on attack. Is on attack. And he will be attack attacking us and our marriages, left and right, does not want to see that. So that is something that, that makes God happy. And so, um, so uh, Coach had asked for chapter 7, verse 25 to be read. Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him, because he always saves lives to intercede for them. And so that's the NIV version. Maybe it may be worded a little bit differently in a different version. Um, but uh, that is that. Uh, that was Hebrews 7.25. You know, um, what, what Jesus said, if we go into John, I think it's 1 John. Um, there was maybe it wasn't first John sorry yeah uh, it was amplified version, but that's it was good though. Too. Yeah, yeah. There's um, I read the NIV version. That's uh, some people have some issues with that, but that's what my church uses. This is a word that that um, in my book, my the actual book that I have um, actually tells us which which verses were removed. So it actually has the the re the removed verses in there, and so some people are like, oh, there's three thousand words that are different. Um, uh, the Word of God is the Word of God, no matter what version it is, um, or what translation it is, I guess you could say. So, I like the NIV version, too. It, it, it kind of cuts to the chase on some things, and and uh, but some of the wording's a little different, too, right? Um, I kind of I kind of lean towards the, like, the NLT version is good for me, too, or ESV, even. Um, the New King James Version was... Um, uh, I, I it wasn't until I met Rick that that uh, I started liking the New King James Version because I was a was a, never a, a big fan of King James Version itself, right? Because the King James Version is just way too hard to read. All the all that stuff there makes things a little bit uh, confusing for me. But um, Atkins diet can reduce anxiety. Hmm. New American Standard, really. So the NASB, right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be doing some some research about that one next. Um, right now I'm working on on um, some some uh, because there's always um, struggles with, and this is something that I struggle with too. Is 
when someone asks you, um, why do you believe? Why do you believe? Say, say vous, say vous que je serai ici a moment, a moment. I knew you that I would be at that moment. <laughs> it's just plain English. Yep, and and that's it, right? New York, same very best. Plain English is good for me, and um, and and that's what that's what works for me. Uh, Christian ac academics somehow like the ESV Bible. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what we're, what 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 resonates with you, right? What words are going to sit well? And so um, that's kind of where we're at. Plain German is good for you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you are speak French. Uh, I know enough French to be dangerous. Um, I know enough Spanish to be able to know a little bit of French. Um, so, I read a lot of different translations, yeah. But I have a program called Egg Drop that allows me to be able to read your uh, non-English. Uh, it allows me to translate them. So, you write it in a different language and I can translate it. So I had some girls that were typing in Arabic the one night and they were uh, uh, they were just amazed that I was reading back exactly what they were typing. I can count to ten, that's about it. Yeah. Are you ready, Linda? Uh, are you ready, Linda? But uh, sorry, but I'm not recommending the Book of Mormon this evening. No offense. Uh, who is that? Somebody. Somebody was asking about uh, the Book of Mormon. Yeah. Yeah, egg drop is good. That's uh, eggdrp.com. Um, take the take the O out, and um, it really all you gotta do is put hashtag egg drop into your into your title. It allows it to be able to read uh, read all the comments, so I can see all the comments. It keeps history of the comments. My voice recognition software messes up that way. That I say sorry. <laughs> Good thing that you would be, uh, you would get blasted. Good thing for that, you would get blasted in there, in here. Oh yeah, no, there's just too many comments. That's why I have it. There's just way too many comments coming at it. And my phone that I use for uh, just doing the Periscope streaming is, um, it's very small. Comment, I can't read the comments. Yeah, my uh, my desk is actually clean. If you guys want to see, you want to see the you want to see the, the the setup we got going on. I'll, I can show you. So it's gonna look weird. All right, you ready? So to do all this, we need to have my camera, which you can't see because obviously I'm showing the camera, but. Um, so there is laptop that does the streaming, so you can see the streaming software. You can actually see it inside of itself. Woo, it's so weird. It's like wow. All right, and then we have my Archon. I'm just gonna I'm gonna Archon Pro mount, which holds one phone, with battery charger, right? Um, another Archon mount tripod that holds another phone that does busker. Um, then I have a computer screen. And that's this little computer back here, this little guy, this little computer back here. He runs this screen and um, this screen and this screen. <laughs> and so this is YouTube. So this is a stream from YouTube. And uh, this is my, my egg drop screen, which is in front of me. So that's why I put them, put the, so when I can watch my busker, com busker comments right here and my, and my, uh, and my comments from, uh, from egg drop. Yep. So uh, that is the production, you know, and I've got like, you know, headphones that do stuff. And oh, I got my ring light, my Archon ring light, which uh, is covered, right? And so it shines around me. <laughs> that, my man, gives me a headache. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, that is how we get this whole thing working for us. Yeah. And uh, so you ready for this? You, you ready for this? This is the amazing part. 
this is the amazing part. Um, my uh, my laptop is one that I was given to me from from work. So um, yeah, but I it's listen. I'll tell you right now. All the Archon stuff, I won from Archon. So like the the Archon Pro mount, the Archon tripod, the Archon um, ring light. Um, that is was uh, was won through a. I won that through a, a, one of their contests that they had, and then um, the other computers that I have, they're all from work um, that I use for work. So, um, and so it's just one piece of software I run on here, and then I use my internet connection, and then I have a just a plain old Logitech, uh, you know, sixty dollar Logitech uh, web camera that I use. My upload and download speed. I'm not even sure. Did we win the same contest? Yeah, I won. I won. Uh, I won like a, I don't know. I won like one contest, and then like two weeks later, I won a uh, egg drop one. Yeah, I won another one. I won two of them. And one was from. Uh, it was from Archon. They had. Um. There was one. It was uh, the the cake lady. The one with the cake lady. You got a T-shirt. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you want you want an egg drop T-shirt, yeah. And so uh, I, I think all these things that 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 were won were so that way I can do this broadcast because I you know I don't have a lot of money, but um, you know God has really provided for me, and you know I I don't know how or why I, I won these, but I have because they are won. <laughs> You know, I didn't have to like that that mount, that one pro mount. That's that's over a hundred dollars just for that mount. And then like the tripod is like forty dollars. It's so crazy, you know. And uh, we're so that that way soft. It looks a little difficult to set up and run. God provides, man. I'm telling you what. Software's not too bad. Software's actually not bad at all. Um, to get it up and running, I you know I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Because I do this all day long, I do work with software and computers and stuff like that. For me, it's not that hard. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, but for I guess for anybody else, it, it might be difficult if you don't have an understanding of it. It took me a while to get used to the software. And um, and really, the only reason I started doing this was so that way I could learn how to do it for my church. Because they wanted to be able to broadcast um, on on Facebook and Periscope at the same time. And so... I did a lot of research for it, and um, I was about ready to. Uh, you know, here's a little testimony for you. I was about I was about ready to get yeah, easy for me to do, right? Um, and, and that's one thing I'm I'm praying about is um, uh, whether I'm starting up a business for this to be able to help people get set up on using the um, the broadcaster software and you know charging a a certain fee to get things up and working, I guess, is a way of putting it. So I'm praying about that to see where that's at. Um, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things I've been praying about. So Edwin, thank you for joining. I wish I, I wish now I had become a computer geek. The '80s kids, uh, we were making good money. Pff, yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. It does sound like a good idea. And there is um, lots of lots of churches. I have three crash PCs and one old laptop, and, and it's last like I hate computers. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, you need to have a fairly newer computer. Um, with a decent amount of CPU. Who am I? Um, welcome, Ed Edwin. Thank you for joining. Yeah, to uh, to um, to broadcast with that software, you need to have um, a fair amount of uh, of CPU because it's uh, it's uh, definitely it. Yeah, watch out, Craig Myers is a troll. Just let you know. Just to let you know, Craig Myers is a troll. Yeah, computers, computers are, are that. Uh, so, and um, like when you're looking for things, right? If you ever decide 
that you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to go buy a laptop for broadcasting. You should call him Michael Myers, yeah, exactly. I had BC crashing for years. Come to find out it was a power supply going bad. Exactly, and it could be anything like that. Uh, that's where a good technician will definitely, uh... Alright, I'm sorry, listen, uh, Roker's Rop, Rop, Roll, whatever your name is. Listen, Jesus loves you. And just know that uh, you don't have to do this uh, trolling around. Because uh, Jesus does, he does love you, and there's a better way for you. Thank you. Um... So yeah, there's uh replaced everything but the power supply. You know what? I've had a lot of people do that. They're like, man, what else could be we wrong? We changed the motherboard, we changed the CPU, we changed the hard drive, we changed everything else. It's still doing the same thing. It's like, well, either you got a bad power supply or you got a you got a possessed case, one of the two, right? <laughs> it could be a short in the case too, definitely. You gotta take a look at that. Um I hear Australian accent in here when I am at Tucky. I can watch one scope and listen to another. What? I'm not sure what you're talking about there, uh, Craig. Try flipping screens between one back to come back to me. Yeah, I know. It's like, what? I've had that happen where the voices, yeah, look out, there's a cop coming. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, it is 1.12. It is time for bed. It's time for me to uh, go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow and get some work done. So, guys, um, let's, uh, let's, let's go in some prayer, and then we'll, we'll walk out. Okay? Kids on the computer are going to websites. I shouldn't have. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. My phone is just starting to play audio in another scope while I'm on here. Yeah, it happens to me, too. Craig, if you go left or right, and then uh, Julie got a do-over. Thank you for joining. Um, if you go left or right, go into one scope and come back in again, it will it will uh, take care of that problem. There's a little bit of a bug with that. <laughs> Viruses, right? Hey, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Uh, all right, so guys, listen. We're we're, we're going to lift up everyone up in a prayer right now. So Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for um, allowing us to be able to spend time with uh, with all of our uh, with all of our viewers here tonight, Lord, we, we just thank you for for uh, for every single person who's come on here and has heard uh, the message that, that you have uh, given us today, Lord. We, we thank you for your Bible. We thank you for for Jesus Christ. We thank you for uh, him coming down here, showing us what a perfect example of a sinless uh, human being should be, Lord. And we just we, we thank you for him. We thank you for him dying for us to, to just thank you for dying him dying on the cross and, and being taken away our sins lord and for him to uh to rise again to prove to us that he is the messiah rise again three days later and to ascend to heaven lord until the day that he comes back again lord, we thank you for that uh, that that mighty deed that we did not deserve lord we just thank you for that uh, lord we also uh uh we we brought up to you today lord uh, bill and diana and their and their relationship where we ask that uh that you help them work through that situation, Lord, and let them let them work on their confusions and their insecurities. And uh, Lord, we just ask that you, uh, uh, we just ask for that. Uh, Lord, we also ask for healing in Diana. Lord, we just ask for um, for Sev for for his grievances. Lord, we just ask that he, uh, his grievances be light and let the, and uh, just fill him with some peace and understanding that, uh, about his mother. Lord, Lord, we lifted up Kim today for her anxiety. We commanded that anxiety out of her in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, we also lifted up Rebecca and Zane in their marriage today. Well, Lord, uh, give them a direction and guidance and give them the love that they that they saw the very first day that they met each other. Lord, we ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name. We lift all this up to you. And if it is your will, we ask that it be heard and, and uh, received in your mighty son's name. Amen. All right, guys, you have a very nice night. Listen, uh, know that Jesus loves you. I know that I love you guys, um, and I really do appreciate you guys coming on here and spending your time with me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. And uh, thank you for for just joining me uh, on this on this walk, and uh, encouraging me and allowing me to be able to encourage you and being able to pray for you guys. You don't understand how much of a of, of a of a of a uh, an uplift it is for me, and um, I just appreciate every single one of you guys. 
Um, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, we'll come back. We'll, we'll do this again. We'll do some more stuff. We'll talk some more. We'll, we'll read the Bible. We'll, we'll do the devotional. And uh, we'll, we'll pray for you guys. So definitely come back. And I want to hear some praise reports. We want to we want to see that. Uh, we, if you if if we pray for you and something comes comes great, uh, comes comes go or you know gets answered. If something happens with that, let us know. We really want to know um, that uh, that that uh, that God's working in your lives. Um, because uh, thank you, thank you so much. All right, guys. So uh, definitely, and uh, just remember uh, that. Uh, Check out the Jesus Did It website for some other broadcasters who are um, willing to pray for you and everything else. And um, definitely go visit Rick Costa or Becky Sims or, or Terry Hicks. Go, go, go watch a bunch of those other broadcasters. You will be blessed. Um, so check out JesusDidIt.org. Christ is King. Amen. All right, guys. You have a very nice night. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take it easy. Be blessed.